Hi! Just checking What are you doing? You're saying hello. You're saying hello. Oh, that's a little leg up. Oh, such a gorgeous boy. I'm feeling so Christmassy today. I wish I could listen to Christmas music whilst we get ready. I'm suddenly just so in the Christmas spirit. I feel like I have been for a while. And I don't know where November's gone. It's actually flown by, or at least it has for me. But we're gonna put up the Christmas tree today, which I'm so excited about. And I'm really in the mood to do my makeup. So I thought we could get ready together today. Not that I've really got any plans. As I've just said, we're literally gonna be putting up the Christmas tree. I think I'm gonna do some shopping. But I don't know, I was just in the mood to like get myself glam and chat with you guys and get ready. So that is what we're gonna do. I feel like I don't film a lot of these anymore. Like I don't film a lot of makeup videos or get ready with me's and that's pretty much because I tend to do the same makeup every single time I get ready. But recently, I've really been enjoying doing my makeup, especially my eye makeup in a slightly different way. Me and Dan had a date night the other night. We went to Dishoom in Manchester, which first of all was so delicious i love it there and yeah because we were going on a date night i wanted to kind of make my makeup a little bit more like sultry and smoky and i really love the way it turned out so yeah i thought we could do that makeup today so i've already gone ahead and done my brows and primed my eyes i've used the uoma i think it's pronounced i never know if i say this brand right so someone let me know down below this is the baby hair brow pencil and then i've used some Too faced concealer and also my laura mercier to set and then in terms of eyes i've really been enjoying this palette at the minute it's from natasha denona which i know is a little bit expensive so by all means use anything that you have for this that is I'd say a little bit more like neutral to cool toned in terms of shadows. It's more so this shade that I reach for in this palette for the lid, which is this kind of like, it's picking up quite warm on camera, but it is more of like a neutral brown, I would say, which I use on the lid. So I'm gonna use this today, by all means use anything that you have if you want to recreate this. In fact, I think I'm gonna start with this palette, which is the Kylie Bronze palette. This one is a lot more affordable as well if you want to just use this. Um, but I'm going to take this shade here, which is this like neutral brown. It's called Tell Me More. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of press this on the outside and start blending it in. I'm suddenly feeling so Christmassy. I don't know about anyone else. We've actually got two trees. And because obviously I didn't, I wasn't really here for Christmas last year. I pretty much spent the entire Christmas at Dan's. Um, so I've not, this will be like the first year that we properly decorate this house and I cannot wait. Put the tree up and just put some Christmas music on, watch a Christmas film. I've not watched any Christmas films yet this year, just because it doesn't feel right until the Christmas tree is up. So I think that is going to be the plan for the evening. I'm just gently buffing this out. I'm kind of flipping between two brushes and they are both dirty. I need to wash my brushes desperately, but we're just gonna make do for now. Yeah, I'm just gently winging this out a little bit just towards the tail of the brow. I always like to do a more like winged cat shape with my eyeshadow just because I feel like it suits my eye shape the best. I don't really suit like rounded shadow. And then I always do like the biggest kind of back and forth motion when I've got the least amount of product on the brush and I just use a really, really light hand with that. But yeah, I think I might do some shopping this evening. I really wanna go to Primark. I've not been to Primark in quite a while. Um, and I wanna see what like home stuff they've got in because I went to B&M yesterday. I have an obsession with B&M at the minute. I don't know why I didn't start shopping there sooner. <laughs> I went in with a basket, should have gone in with a trolley because by the end of it, I was literally carrying everything under my arms. Um, but they had so much cute home stuff in there and I really wanna go and see what Primark have this year because I technically don't really have any Christmassy bits for the house other than like baubles and the tree. I'm trying to think how I actually did this eyeshadow look when I did it. I feel like I'm fully winging it here, but it'll be fine. I'm gonna take a Morphe M514. This is like my favorite brush for more precision blending. And I'm gonna use this shade here. I'm just gonna take a really, really small amount on the brush. Basically pop this on the outer corner, but more towards the lash line. I am actually getting my lashes redone tomorrow, thank goodness, because they've taken a beat in these past few days. And then ever so slightly, I'm just gonna start fading that in a little bit. 
just to more of like the center of the lid and then i'm gonna go back in with my bigger brush and i think just this shade down here maybe a mix of these two this one's a little bit more like greeny yellow um but i'm just gonna use these to blend a little bit okay and then i'm gonna do the wing first i always like doing the wing liner before any sort of like shimmer or like glitter just because i feel like it sticks better to the lid so i'm just gonna use a little angle brush this one is an anastasia 12 and i'm actually just gonna use this same dark brown shade it'll just come up a little bit darker because i'm using a more like pigmented version of it <laughs> like i'm using a brush that will basically put the pigment down a little bit heavier but to be honest i don't really want this to be a super like stark liner anyway it's more just to add a bit of definition and just to smudge into the outer corners yeah it gives a little bit of a wing but nothing that looks too star and then i like to go in with like a really small flat brush and i'm just going to use again Kind of a very small amount of that darker brown shade and i'm just gonna smudge the wing and then last but not least for the outer part i'm just gonna take the brush that i did my brows with that has a tiny bit of concealer on and i just like to go underneath and then for the lid i'm gonna use this brown shade here which picks up quite warm on camera it's more of like a neutral brown i don't know i've just been enjoying something a little bit darker and smokier on the lid recently so i'm going to use a morphe 204 and i'm basically just going to press this on top and i kind of like to use the edge of this brush to outline my crease a little bit but i do it slightly above my crease if that makes sense yeah it kind of creates this like shape this wing shape almost as if it was a cut crease, but it's a very, very like soft cut crease. But for glitter recently, I've been using these from Tarte Beauty. Um, I don't think you can actually purchase this palette anymore. So I'm gonna try and list some dupes down below. I've seen Jordan using some really cool like pigment glitters on TikTok recently, um, which look quite similar to these. And again, will be more affordable and easier to get hold of. I think I'm gonna use this more like brownie shade down here. I'm just gonna use a really small amount. So I literally just dip in um, and then I get a little bit of glitter on my finger there. I also tap off any excess on my hand and then I'm just gonna gently stamp that on the lid. I don't really like a lot, but I just like it when it catches the light and you can just see a little bit of sparkle. Onto skin, I'm gonna start with moisturizer and I'm gonna use the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I forgot how much I love this stuff. They recently sent this in PR, which I'm so grateful for because I literally forgot how much I love this moisturizer. It's so hydrating and it's, it leaves quite a thick layer on the skin as well, which I actually really like just because my skin is more on the dry side. So I like to have I like to really feel my moisturizer on the skin. I kind of want to try some new products to prime with. So I've got the Fenty Beauty Easy Droplet All Over Glow Enhancer here, which is in the shade Taffy Topaz. Um, I also have this from Rare Beauty, which is their pore diffusing primer. So I'm going to give both of these a go. I feel like you guys know I like anything that is just dewy, glowy. Yeah, just anything that is going to make me look radiant basically i've not actually tried anything from rare beauty yet so i'm excited to give this a go i never tend to use like pore what is this a pore diffusing primer um because they tend to be quite mattifying which i don't know having dry skin i don't tend to usually go for that actually feels really nice though so it feels more hydrating than mattifying. Foundation, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have the shade 7N, I think this is. It's actually rubbed off on the back, but I'm pretty sure it's 7N. And then I also have 2N as well, just to mix in to make it a little bit more to my skin tone. I love this foundation though. I honestly, since I started using this, I've not tried anything else it just feels so good on the skin and it feels quite lightweight it looks really glowy it doesn't look too cakey or anything like that it just i don't know it just really is like a your skin but better foundation and it lasts so well as well i do really want to try 
the new HMB foundation because I've not tried that yet and I've seen so many good things about it online. So I think I might order that soon and give it a go. But currently, yeah, I'd say this is currently my favorite foundation. I definitely need to wash this brush. It's disgusting. Me and Dan started watching a new series last night, which so far I'm actually really enjoying. We've only watched two episodes of it. Um, but I don't know, it's really like gripped me and I feel like that doesn't happen a lot with TV anymore. Um, I don't know, it usually takes me a few episodes to really get into something, but it's called, I think it's called 1988 or 1989, 19, so, something like that. <laughs> I feel like you'll see it on the Netflix homepage because it's like a newer series. Um, and so far, all we know is that there's all of these people on a boat traveling from England to New York. They have basically just stopped because they've come across another boat that has been missing for four months. And they're basically trying to like figure out what's happened on this other boat. But there's so many interesting characters and it's quite obvious that like a lot of the characters have secrets or I don't know, things that we'll find out later on in the series and stuff. I've gone and wet my sponge and I'm gonna do a little bit more foundation with this. I like to do everything with a brush initially and then I like to just go over with a little bit more on a sponge just to give a little bit more of like an airbrush finish. Okay, and then we've got another Rare Beauty product. This is the bronzer stick in Happy Soul, I wanna say it's pronounced. Um, I thought we could give this a go because I have used the same cream bronzer for probably like three years at this point. And to be honest, it's getting a bit boring. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this one instead. I'm gonna press that in with a brush. Oh, I desperately need to wash these brushes. It feels really creamy in terms of the formula, which I like. Yeah, I need to go and do a drugstore shop, like a good old boot shop and get some more affordable makeup. Anyone's got any recommendations actually, because I am cruelty free. I don't really speak a lot about that on my channel, but I am cruelty free. I guess it's because I don't do tons of makeup content anymore. But yeah, I've been cruelty free for quite a few years now um things like fenty and laura mercier i think are still a bit of a gray area and i do use those so i guess i'm not like super strict with it i'm not as strict as some people are i know some people that are cruelty free won't even use things like urban decay because i'm pretty sure urban decay is owned by l'oreal which obviously isn't cruelty free um and i'm not that strict with it i just yeah i don't use stuff that basically it's sold in China because as far as I'm aware at the minute the regulations in China are that um products get tested on animals I'm sure I did read somewhere or I did hear from someone that that was supposed to be like being stopped which I feel like it should be given the technology that we have now I don't really see why it would be necessary to test things on animals I don't know the ins and outs of it <laughs> if anyone wants to educate me then please do. So I'm going to use Pat McGrath concealer. Again, I think they're a bit of a gray zone at the minute. I need to like redo all of my research on these brands because I think Pat McGrath is cruelty free, but I think there was also a bit of like a question mark. But either way, I really do like this concealer. It is their skin fetish, I wanna say it is. Yeah, skin fetish concealer, I use the shade L5. When I'm blending in concealer, I try really hard to literally just press where I've placed it. I don't wanna take it too far down because I don't like too much brightness uh, too far under my eyes. And obviously we've put down that cream bronzer, so we don't wanna go over that and just kind of like ruin the effect that that has. If I ever have too much, I'll just like wipe it off on my hands. And then I do like to just kind of press at the sides of my nostrils, just to make sure they're concealed. And then I might actually use a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm. This has to be one of my favorite products of the year. I'm thinking about doing a favorites video if anyone wants to see that. I feel like they're not really a thing as much. <laughs> on YouTube anymore, but there's definitely been 
some products this year that have been absolute like staples, favorites, just must haves for me. It's just such a beautiful color, like such a beautiful shade of pink. It's not too intense when it's blended out so it doesn't look like you've got full on, I don't know, super blush cheeks. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier powder. Um, just to set it down. It's in this really cute container. It's like a jumbo size one as well. I think it was limited edition, um, but it's just the normal translucent powder. And then I'm going to use one of my Tarte Beauty puffs. I've seen um, loads of TikToks recently about puffs like these. Um, I've seen a lot about, I think it's called Trigwell, the brand. I'm saying that right if I've remembered that right um but they do like similar puffs to these and I've seen so many good things about those I'm tempted to order some on Beauty Bay because these are literally all that I use now to set um the skin because they really do just make your scalp your foundation <laughs> I was gonna say skin but then I was also gonna say foundation your foundation <laughs> they do make your skin look really really airbrushed and flawless and then I'm gonna go in with this powder here from Charlotte Tilbury this is their airbrush brightening flawless finish it's kind of just like a translucent powder as well um but I like to go over the under eye with this just with like a little real techniques brush just to basically just to sweep any powder away um and to add any like brightness as well. Okay, I don't know what's happened to my under eye there. You might not even see that on camera. But it's gone a little patchy. I think it's just quite dry. Like my skin is just very dry at the minute. So it is what it is. And then I like to use shade 2 from Charlotte Tilbury. Just across the rest of the face. More so on the outer parts of the face where... I want to lock in my cream products a little bit more. Oh my god, that's really gonna bug me. I'm not sure you can even see that on camera, but in person it is definitely there and noticeable. Ah, from a distance it's fine, who cares? Okay, I have actually run out of my Fenty bronzer, which is probably my favorite bronzer of all time. It is incredible. I've gone through two of those now. Um, but I have this one from Kylie that I got from Flannels that I thought I would use instead. It's in the shade Tequila Tan. Basically just go over all the areas where I cream bronzed with this and I'm also gonna do my nose contour with this as well. I really love this highlighter from Beauty Bay at the minute. It's in the shade Beam. I think they still have this. I got this quite a while ago, but I'm assuming they'll still be doing it. Just like a really nice gold shade and I don't know. I feel like it gives your skin more of like the wet look rather than anything like super glittery. And then for blush today, I wanted to give this a go, which technically isn't a blush. It's the Fenty uh, Kilowatt Duo in Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. I think I saw Madison Beer use this on maybe like a Vogue video or something quite a while ago. And I completely forgot that I had it. I found it in my drawers, like behind there. So I thought I would Oh yeah, I love it, wow, okay. I mean, I definitely am giving like Tin Man vibes with all of this glow, but at the same time, I'm here for it. And then with this eye look, because it is, oh wait, I'm not even finished the eyes. I was about to do lips, oh my God. That just goes to show how used to like not doing any under eye I am. <laughs> um, so I do like to do a little bit of an under eye with this, which when I did this the other day, Probably was the first time I put anything on my lower lash line in like probably four years. Like, I just never really do that anymore. Um, but because obviously we've got a slightly heavier eye on top, I do want to balance it out a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm going to use a little pencil brush and just any of like the matte shades. It doesn't have to be any specific one. Um, and I'm just going to run this very gently underneath. I don't want anything too crazy. And I'm also taking this only to like the halfway point of my lower lash line. Um, just to add a little bit of smokiness. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of black liner. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Exaggerize, Exaggerize? Exaggerize, I think I'm saying that right. Um, liner duo. I'm just going to use the black side and I'm just going to use this very lightly but again on the, the very outer corner of the waterline just like so just to add a bit of again 
smolderiness. Okay, now we're on to lips. So because the eyes are a little bit more like neutral to cool toned, I really like the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner just because it's not as warm and pinky as something like Hot Gossip or Pillow Talk, which is what I would usually use. Um, yeah, this one's a bit more of like a brownie nude, so I feel like it complements the eyes quite well. So I'm going to use that. And then I've also pulled out a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, which is in the shade Nude Romance. I know there's been quite a lot of Charlotte Tilbury in this video. Um, yeah, if you want to see more drugstore looks, then let me know and I can definitely get some film. But I just love Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like I had this realisation the other day. If I could partner with one makeup brand or collaborate with one makeup brand or just only use one makeup brand ever again i think it would be charlotte tilbury because i just love her products i love the base products lip products um the eye products i feel like eyeshadows i'm a bit 50 50 on but just for skin and lips i just think um yeah charlotte tilbury products are incredible i've also got this little mini fenty gloss in the shade cake shape i might just use on the center yeah that is the finished makeup so just something a little bit darker smokier more like sultry than what i would usually do so hopefully you guys like it if there's any other makeup videos that you want to see any other beauty videos skincare videos anything like that then definitely let me know i'm gonna go in as i said we are doing the christmas tree today i feel like i've said it five million times at this point but i am just so excited to do it um, so i'm gonna vlog that which you will hopefully see very soon and other than that i hope you're all having a lovely day and yeah i will see you in the next one